All right, this is John from Integra Computer Systems, and today we're going to talk about using the LogMeIn desktop app um, to connect to a host computer instead of using LogMeIn in a browser. So in order to get the LogMeIn desktop app, uh, what you need to do is you can go to Google and you could search for LogMeIn desktop app for Windows. And you could also pick the Mac one if you're using a Mac. And this is the one we'll choose. I'll put a link to this in the description below if you just want to avoid the search. And uh, we're going to download this, the LogMeIn app. Uh, so that's going to download. And once that download completes, we're going to open it up and we're going to install the LogMeIn client or desktop app. So we'll just next, 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 all the way through this. And that's it. Uh, so in order to run the app, uh, it's installed now. So all we have to do is run it. So we'll just click here and we can see the LogMeIn client or you could just search for it by typing in LogMeIn client app. Now, once the LogMeIn client app comes up, you have to log in as normal with your log me in username and password uh, so we'll do that and for this test account i don't have two-factor enabled just to make this demo quick but if you are using two-factor and you should be um, you would be prompted for the code and you would just type that in and then you would get to this screen in the log me in client it will have a list of machines. Now in this particular case, on this count, I just have one test machine and that's what we're gonna connect to. Uh, so we'll, we'll click on the little screen here and then I'll have some options. Uh, so most people will be using the remote control option, which is this right here, but there is another useful option uh, under computer info that has to do with restarting the computer. Now don't shut it down because you won't be able to connect to it you would just really want to, in some cases, you may find it beneficial if the computer is acting slow or just not responding well, you can restart it from right here. Uh, but for the rest of this demo, we're going to be looking at doing a remote control session. So we'll click here. And once we connect there, we'll get our computer screen and we'll be prompted for another code or password challenge. Most people will be clicking more and typing in a username a password and a domain. This is just a test account. So there's on a private network, so there's no domain. So in this particular case, we're gonna type in the username and the password, and then we'll hit okay to complete our connection. And there you go. So now we are on the remote computer and um, we can use that remote computer and it seems to respond pretty good in this case um, but if you're having trouble with um, connection speed or you just don't want to work in a window like this there are a couple of the options that I've talked about in some other videos but I'll include them here we can go up to options and then we can choose match resolution under this right here when we do that and then we maximize the screen we'll have a full screen experience if you still find it slow uh, you can go to options again and change the color quality to HD that's the uh, lowest and fastest color quality that offers you know kind of a great browsing or or remote experience with the fewest number of colors. So that's it for this demo. If you have any questions or comments or likes, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Okay, I hope you found this useful and take care.